Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coffee Mug Test Lab. Six months ago I did a test on the Ember Mug to see how long it would keep coffee hot. And uh, today I'm gonna do a follow-up on that uh, after about 180 to 200 uh, daily uses, daily cycles of that battery. As we all know from our uh, cell phones, after uh, months of use, you start feeling that that battery's running down a little bit. The same has got to be true for the Ember Mug. So I'm gonna compare what I got six months ago versus what I'll get today. If, if you recall from six months ago, it kept coffee in that drinkable range, what I call drinkable 140 degrees Fahrenheit down to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It kept it in that range uh, with a setting of 135 degrees. It kept it there for about 56 minutes. My expectation today is that it's gonna be a little bit less. I've started to feel like my coffee's getting colder faster, but I don't know if that's perception or if that's, uh, if that's reality. So I'm gonna prove it today. All right, you don't need to watch me do these uh, temperature measurements. So I'll give you a quick recap of the results from six months ago. This is a graph of that test with time and minutes along the bottom and uh, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on the vertical axis. So you can see that the temperature of the coffee entered the drinkable zone at about 15 to 16 minutes. That's where the line dips out of the too hot area and enters the white area in the middle of the graph between 130 degrees and 140 degrees. The temperature then leveled off as the electric mug tried to keep it at a steady temperature. And then when it ran out of battery, you can see the temperature begin to fall again and exit my drinkable zone at uh, 72 minutes into the test. So in that test from six months ago, the coffee was drinkable to my standards from minute 16 to minute 72, or for 56 minutes. I just got done with the test and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty surprised by the results. As expected, it entered the drinkable zone in that 15 to 16 minute uh, period, but it stayed in the drinkable zone from 130 degrees to 140 degrees, it stayed there for the exact same amount of time that it did six months ago. So it exited that drinkable zone at 72 minutes, which ended up with 56 minutes of drinkable coffee. Uh, what's so surprising to me is that battery went through at least 180, if not 200 complete cycles of the battery during that time. And it continues to perform as it did six months ago. So. Kudos to Ember, well done, not only with the, uh, the app and the technology of keeping your uh, coffee at the right temperature, but apparently they've mastered the battery technology too, to at least keep it performing the same uh, over the course of this first six months. So I'll do the same test uh, six months from now, so a one year test. Uh, it will have had you know 350 to 400 battery cycles by that time, and we'll see uh, how well this performs after a year. If you want to see that video when it comes out, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, until then, thanks again for watching and uh, enjoy your coffee.